There was a lot of silver produced in 2022, and we're set for an increase in production in 2023. You can probably guess on who the top producer of silver was last year. We're going to talk about that and so much more as we explore. Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. If you enjoy stories like this, where I talk about silver in terms of silver production and companies and, and countries and agencies that track silver production and mining and all that, I hope you will consider pressing that thumbs up button down below. This time we're talking about the U.S. Geological Survey as the agency that's tracking global mine silver output. Now, this is important because this is one of the factors that we use when we look at our debt clock series and the debt clock and silver. I have a, a playlist that talks about all of that. Right now, that number is sitting at a hard zero. Considering silver mine production was up, that's part of what probably what led to the, uh, the ratio going down, at least in part, but a lot of it has to do with quantitative tightening that has been going on. But nonetheless, regardless, a lot of silver was produced. Preliminary estimates from the U.S. Geological Survey say that silver production increased in 2022 by 4% to 26,000 tons. And Mexico was the largest silver producing country. And does that surprise any of us? It shouldn't. Mexico has been a top producer for quite some time. And then followed by, that's Mexico here, represented by this Libertad, from 2020. Yes, indeed. And then the next on the list would be China. That's right. China has been producing a whole heck of a lot of silver. And this is a piece, probably one of the, this was the last new piece of Chinese silver I bought, by the way. Uh, this is the last time they did them in one ounce, the pandas, in one ounce size. And uh, so that's the last time I bought that new uh, for the, the current year of issue. I do have other pieces that are 30 grand, but usually those I've gotten by other means in the secondary market. Nonetheless, there's where it is. Mexico being the largest, according to this, these data released by the USGS, global mine silver output was, output was 26,000 tons in 2022, which was 4% higher compared to 2021, which is 25,000 tons. So it seems like, at least in terms of silver mining, uh, which most silver, by the way, nowadays is mined as a byproduct of other metals, which means that some of the supply chains and mining and stuff is happening, and uh, they're coming back together, which is good. USGS explained that the increase in global mine silver output in 2022 was primarily due to the higher production from mines in Chile and other countries as silver mines were still recovering from shutdowns in 2020 in response to the COVID-19 pandemic, according to this article here from Kitco. In fact, you look at a chart, you can see the blip there in 2020 had the lowest at 23,500. And in 2019, it was 26,500. So there's been a lot. In fact, the highest was in 2014, which they don't show the number there, but it was probably about 27 or 27,500 uh, tons of a uh, silver mine. Uh, but nonetheless, you can see that uh, if we take an account for all of the silver produced in all these years, they just keep cranking it out. And, uh, but in 2021, we saw essentially a, a, a bottleneck in production, be able to get uh, silver products to us, but you could find thousand ounce bars were available. Um, in fact, some of the bullion dealers were carrying them. I remember SD Bullion carried some thousand ounce silver bars. In fact, even now, JM Bullion got a stock of thousand ounce bars that you can buy. Just go in there and check it out. It's pretty wild. Uh, and so this is the Mexico being the largest silver producer, by the way. Uh, they produced 6,300 tons of the metal. Mexico did. And I tell you what, Mexico has always been sort of at the forefront. And then when you have other nations 
you know, this is the closest. I don't have any Peruvian silver, but this cool Panama piece is pretty wild. Uh, minted by the U.S. Mint, this piece is, by the way. But uh, nonetheless, a lot of silver being mined in Peru and, uh, and also in Mexico. But Mexico has the oldest mint in the Western Hemisphere. Uh, there's something special about Mexican silver just because of its, its history, uh, you know, of the country. And, um, and so that's why Libertad's seem to be so popular. Plus, they are limited mintage for a bullion product. And when you look at it, Mexico beats all these other countries hands down in production, um, edging out last year at 6,110 tons last year. This year, 6,300 tons, or in 2022, I'm sorry, to 2021. And Chile is at 3,600 tons that they mined uh, in 2022. And then Peru is a third, very close third behind China. Um, yeah, there's China, then Peru. Uh, and then Chile is a distant fourth there. And then these other countries are pretty much near the same. Uh, you know, it, it goes on down the list. Uh, Chile, Australia, Poland, Bolivia, Russia, the U.S., Argentina, and then India being the last. And so that is there. So according to the report, global consumption of silver was estimated to have reached 38,000 tons in 2022, which is a new record and 16% increase from that of 2021. So think about it. Total world silver production uh, was 26,000 tons in 2022. Uh, that's production. Total silver consumption in 2022 was 38,000 tons. That is amazing. There's that much, but the price did not move as much. In fact, you know, really, it didn't get to its high that we saw in 2021. Uh, but it's going to take a little bit more than just increased demand and that uh, deficit of silver that we've been seeing compared to production and uh, consumption. That is going to be interesting. The consumption for silver for industrial use was estimated to have increased 5% compared to that of 2021, owing to the installation of Fifth generation telecommunications infrastructure, increased production of photovoltaics, and increased production of light duty vehicles, and more silver used in newer vehicles, including, of course, we have EVs out there as well. Silver is a metal that is also obviously the most widespread metal used in various different applications in the biomedical field and uh, also in um, technology. Uh, the uses keep growing for silver. It is the most versatile metal, hands down, of any other metal on the periodic table. Um, and I think it's uh, remarkable to see and amazing to see, but that also means that it is, uh, it is at the mercy of the commodity markets, um, as opposed to the uh, looking at it as, an, as a monetary metal. And that frustrates many stackers out there that don't, they don't. Uh, they don't. They don't. Uh, they don't understand, or, or not, they understand, but they they don't like that this is occurring, and they also are liking it, essentially it to manipulation, uh, which very well could be the case, or price suppression. Some people say some of these large contracts get sold at once, but uh, regardless, uh, this is where we are at. This is the world we live in today. So people expect a m more demand in 2023 than there was in 2022 is what they are speculating or they're guessing or predicting with an only 1% increase uh, this year in silver production. Um, will that be what breaks the back of the silver market? Uh, and I think some of this extra demand that we've been seeing for silver, some of the reason why the COMEX and the LBMA have narrowed their stockpiles, we may consider to see pressure in those areas. Now, if, all, if by some chance those markets break or the COMEX breaks or the LBMA breaks, I don't know that that necessarily means that uh, silver is just going to fly off the show and you're going to go skyrocket in price. Uh, just because I've been, I've been so, uh, um, I guess, jaded by things happening um, and silver not moving and reacting like it should uh, that uh, I don't think we should get too excited if the COMEX were to break, um, 
seeing it at these record lows that we've seen. It'll be very interesting to see what the January numbers are for, for silver. I've talked about the December numbers for silver uh, stockpiles in the LBMA and also what happens with the COMEX. I think that's going to be quite interesting to see how long it takes for the markets to react to continued shrinkage of those stockpiles and or a breaking of those, which means essentially there's no silver left to cover the contracts, the futures contracts. The futures market is all but ignoring silver, it seems, compared to what they've done with gold. And this is why many people feel that silver is so undervalued because it's so ignored. It's a very t small, tiny market. And uh, seemingly, it seems like because it's a tiny market that things can change. And so when you, when you, uh, when you think about that, when things can change that quickly in terms of the dynamic of the markets, it seems the price should reflect that change too. With, and in a sense, it does with this crazy volatility, at least compared to gold, but not near enough for what some of us think it should. And by the way, that includes myself. I think silver should be much higher than it is right now. I've been pretty bullish on silver for the past couple of years and my predictions. I've stood by my predictions and have been wrong about them. I'm going to stand by my prediction again this year of silver. For those of you who have not seen that video, I hope you will check it out. But essentially, I'm saying that silver is going to reach at some point there in the year 28 bucks an ounce. It really should. To me, that's not unreasonable. But will it? I don't know. Thing is, you got to understand, you got to keep in mind that no matter what silver does in terms of the price, um, understand the, the measure and the study of the price of the past 20, 50, 100 years really should give you all the confidence you need even in just that short amount of time compared to the history of silver, that uh, you're doing the right thing by at least holding on to the silver you have and maybe making some buys when the prices go down. So there you have it. Mexico, the top producing company, a country of silver over the course of 2022. I believe they'll continue in that same vein in 2023. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. We'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch this video and to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.